Um, it's quite a broad course and it gives students a chance to really kind of learn their craft, learn about the industry, but learn about the creative side of, of commercial photography, um, while at the same time helping them to kind of really refine what they want to do as they kind of move into their specialisms, they kind of hit the end of the second year and third year. I think our students are very industry savvy. Um, they're very, very aware of, of kind of the expectations uh, of what happens in the industry when you leave. So therefore, they, they plan for it. So they can kind of direct their studies and they kind of hit the floor running as opposed to kind of having to try and kind of work out what it's all about when they leave. I came into the photography degree not really knowing where I wanted to go and what I was interested in so for me it's just been the kind of advice and the progression and like opportunities to enter competitions and just um, to meet so many different photographers and see there's a lot of kind of like specific like um, styles whereas before I think I had a bit more of a naive approach. <laughs> Collaboration is very much part of what we do and our students really collaborate across the board. Um, our students are very aware of the components to, to pull a shoot together. So if they're a fashion photographer, they'll need to think about who's going to style the shoot, which may be a student from fashion. Uh, where the clothes are going to come from, which may also be another student from fashion. They've got to think about maybe uh, any props that are involved in the shoot, so then they'll collaborate with model making. Um, they need hair and makeup, so of course we have a makeup course here. So what we tend to find is that all the components which tend to, to actually happen within the real world when you put the shoot together, then, then all that can be replicated here. Because I do fashion, I'm, I collaborate with like fashion students, uh, costume students, and hair and like the hair and makeup course mainly. But um, we have I have opportunities that I could collaborate with like illustration or like graphics and stuff if I wanted to kind of create something a bit more interesting. We've got great studios, um, and they're all bronze colour studios. So um, the equipment that we use is kind of is, is comparative, if not better, than some of the best studios that you find in kind of London and New York as well. Yeah, loads of equipment. Um, different kinds of cameras from old 5.4 cameras, 120 film, Hasselblads, um, to like the latest digital stuff, like there's a lot to choose from, it's a pretty nice selection of kit. Placements are very much part of, of our course. Um, we have you know, really, really good contacts, so all our students go out on placement, and many of our students go off on internships, which they kind of make through the kind of contacts that we help them get from uh, being on the course, and the guest speakers that we have in, and the practitioners who get involved with the delivery, and our kind of industry liaison groups who kind of help to inform what we do. It's, it's vague enough that you can experiment in your own um, like field, so like whether you do fashion, still life, documentary, like kind of caters for that. Um, but at the same time it teaches you to have like a, a sensible head on and you know we're all here to make a career at the end of the yeah, day yeah. not just to make pretty pictures so um, yeah I think it's quite practical that way. It, it seems that uh, kind of our, our, our ex students who are now photographers are kind of really kind of working all the kind of key areas from, from the Guardian to the Independent um, through to kind of you know, campaigns for French Connection, um, campaign recently for Reese. you know so I mean people are doing some really really kind of big stuff.